I'll keep shining my light, shining my light. Every Life with same. God is so good. And I'm thankful for living. We're so thankful, thankful that you're here with us and joining us on the show, Life yeah. with Gwen and Joe. Keep shining my light, living my life. Every day is the same. We see God in everything. I'm thankful for living. Together, we'd like to help you fall more in love with God. We're going to see all of our experiences, all the things that we do, and places we go, and people we hang with, and it is going to be something that helps us all focus more on God. And in the meantime, we're going to fall in love more with God, and our lives are going to be blessed. You're a thriver in dark seasons, a survivor. So come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. I'll keep shining my light, shining my light. Every day is the same. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We love you. We love you. I've ever gotten and so I want to come back to this crowd. We are here live with Gwen and Joe and it's another incredible uh, day at camp at the Remnant Fellowship Church. And when you choose a life like this, it means you believe that you have faith. You've got faith that there is a God and wanting to be with other people that are wanting to get it right. It doesn't purity feel good. All these kids knowing it's pure out there, it just gives you this good, good feeling. Absolutely. Ah, uh, and what they, what everybody's going for, and these kids are just uh, getting along so well and learning to um, love God with all their heart. So I know that uh, Joe has. Uh, we do it together. Pick out scriptures together. We get to read scriptures together. That is so awesome. I can't even tell you what that's like. God, God led us to this one. So we're going to start with um, yes, yes. Second Corinthians chapter ten and um, taking every thought captive. So listen to it, it's very deep, very deep. For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. And we will be ready to punish every act of disobedience once your obedience is complete. That's huge, isn't it? It's, uh, there's a lot Again, going on there. Amazing. So we don't, what, okay, let's talk about war to start with. The whole thing's about war, that we're in a war, and you know a little bit about war. You, you've often said before, I mean, like, you pursued on the side training that was uh, military-style training because of um, just your empathy and your understanding of needing to protect this, this country, protect the land that we're on. I mean, every country has to protect its own land. And so, um, but you know there's a lot that goes into it. Well, I, uh, first of all, let me just say, and I think most people that know me know that I have a tremendous place in my heart for the men and women of this country that, that, are in, that are in the service in the military, in all branches of the service, they sacrifice a tremendous amount so that we can wake up as free as we do every day. Uh, just praying that, that the young people, as they grow up, realize how good they have it compared to the rest of the world. It's, it's, it's really amazing, and I, and I thank God every day for that. Well, and then what it goes into, we do not wage war so we, we go back to the spiritual realm of which Christ kept calling us and, and that this, this kingdom that we're fighting for is not in this world, it's not of this world. This whole world will pass away. The world and its desires will pass away. And um, what the world is doing is different than the kingdom of God. So the kingdom of God then would be this plane. Think about this piece of space that's not on this ground, but it's not in heaven. And it's this plane that goes through here. And inside this plane is this kingdom of God. And it's a kingdom of love. 
and we're to rise above this earth. And so Paul is calling us and he's saying, look, we're not gonna wage war as the world does. And so the way that the world wages war is unfortunately, so much of it is unnecessary and it has been for power to take over, to have ultimate power, absolute power in a certain region. And these kingdoms have come and gone. Inside all of those kingdoms that would come and go, there was a kingdom that always thrived and it was always going and is there today and it will be there forever. And that is the kingdom of love. And inside that, this kingdom is located and it passes through in that realm we're talking about. It only comes in and out of the, the hearts of certain humans that are able to enter that kingdom. So to enter in to this whole realm of this kingdom, then Jesus said you had to be born again. And though then, so Paul's saying there, he's, he's saying, for though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. And we've got some major weapons out there in this world. We demolish buildings and kill people with these mass weapons of destruction. Yeah, and the, the advancement of modern high technology has really enhanced our ability to do that on an on a incredible level. In one sense, all that could leave us very hopeless, but we are not living for that world. And, but in the meantime, I, I believe that God is going to protect the righteous. So to enter into this kingdom, into this protective zone that I'm talking about, that's, this, that's going through the heart of man, you know, we need, we need a weapon. So, so what did it say next? Then, so on the contrary. They have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. So the war, instead of being physical, is in, our, in the mind. Spiritual warfare. It's in yeah. the mind. Yeah. So the mind, if the mind is the battleground, everything you're doing with your mind matters. It really, really does. But I, I think that there, and this is something personally that, that I deal with in my life, and I think as you grow up, you'll, you'll, you'll face these scenarios as, as young people that, that there's going to be things that, that, that happen that um, people deal with, whether it's anger or jealousy or resentment or the things that you deal with with your friends. If, if you can, and I work on this on a daily basis, so, so I work on these things too. If, 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 you can, if you can take it to a spiritual level and say, how would Jesus handle this? If, if Jesus was standing here next to me, how can I be as Christ-like as possible mm -hmm. in these situations? And use my armor of God to deal with this. And I think that if you can inject God into those things, it really can help, uh, you know, uh, smooth some of those things out so you don't fall prey to losing your friends and, and getting in trouble or whatever it is that, 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 that happens to you uh, in those situations. Wow. I mean, I, what, what you just said just really, you know, made me think, you know, cause you're, you're, you're talking about like it, if you're using your mind, but if you train your mind every time to think, you know, how would, what, what is Christ's behavior? What is his demeanor? What is it, how he handled it? every single time that you did anything, you're fixing to talk to your parents or, you know, you, you know, you, you got to slow down to do this. It's it, this kind of, you know, if you, if you jump into the, even a physical war too fast, you might find yourself getting killed, right? If you run out of the foxhole too fast or you don't really plan what you're doing or plan strategy in war, it's, it's not good here. Uh, if we're in a if we're in a constant war, then you're going to have to slow down and take your mind, and and what Joe is saying is he sits he sits down and he's thinking what would Christ do? And I know that uh, for me personally, I've never stopped. I, I I I would say that there isn't a night that goes by, not one, that goes by 
that I'm not awakened and that I play the day back and and then sometimes I'm cringing <laughs> like oh why did I say that why didn't I say that why didn't I do that why did I do that and here's how I could say more I mean I love to get up as early as I can sometimes and you know correct or encourage or do something you know if I didn't think that uh, if I felt like I could have done more done better I mean I, I feel like you're I'm in the mind wars going on and there's a, there's a way to do it better but there it, it, it then eventually says at the end what is can you read six and we will be ready to punish every act of disobedience once your obedience is complete so obedience can be complete when you're done with suffering you'll be done with sin and no longer live the rest of your earthly life for evil human desires, but rather for the will of God. Be done with sin. So the war is for this purity. This war is for pure thoughts, whatever's lovely, whatever's noble, whatever's righteous, whatever's beautiful, you know, for us to, to get all those things right. And, and, and then you're, you're walking around in this kingdom of love and, and you're getting things right and so you can rejoice. It's strongholds, demolishing strongholds. Right. It's a different war for sure. Strongholds of hate, strongholds of um, whatever it may be. It could be your own personal lust or it could be uh, greed. It could be any of, any of these things. But I think until we realize this is serious, this is not a game, this is not just a fun little suggestion, this is serious business that we have a very short life and we are being highly tested to see what we love in our heart and and in our soul in our with our minds it's your mind that takes the thought captive and so you're going after that food but you go i'm going to show god that i love him more than the food i'm going to do this i'm going to glorify him with his body it's not my body I didn't make myself, I don't own this. I don't own any, anything. You don't, it's not your money, it's not your body, it's not your life. This is, this is a spirit that belongs back to God. And that spirit can enter the kingdom of God once it's born again. So you, you want to put everything, every effort, make every effort to add to your faith, goodness to the goodness, you know, all, all that make every effort fight it's a war with weapons and you take you these are strongholds and you and you you don't fight as the world does with those weapons but you are in your mind praying more pray 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 you're down on your knees more you're you know um i'll i'll wake up in the night and find those spots that i can get down on my knees and and look out the window i i love it i, I you want more time with God. I think I feel like if everybody would give more time, that's giving more of your mind, and then I think that you would fight and be able to uh, overcome these strongholds. As we close, uh, I always like to tr try and say this as, as we close up the show. Mothers, fathers, please gather your family, ga gather your children around why they're, why they're, why you have their undivided attention, why they're in your lives as young people. Read the Bible to them. Get them on the right track. Give them that foundation so that they can go out into the world and, and uh, be free of so many of the problems that, that people go through when they don't have God in their lives. Beautiful. So well said. We'll yeah. end it on that. We Thank love you, you all. for joining us. We love for you Life guys. And John. We love you guys. Isn't she smart? <laughs> Thankful for living, thankful for living, yeah.